because I've had students, clients that they want to learn this teaching so they can manipulate life. No, it doesn't give you any edge as far as power of being able to, because a part of the mind is, yeah, if I really master this, then I can create or I can do something that I can get what I want. So no, this teaching is not gonna give you that. But what it will give you is as you relax into it, so you may start to see that there's an order in this chaos, in this world that it appears to be very aggressive or volatile. It's got all these ups and downs, and at times it's really scary. And as you are losing this sense that you're in control and you have any free will and you got any power into it, as you're kind of shifting from that, so you're powerless. In that powerlessness, you begin to see that there's an order, there's a force that is running through everything. And you start to see it, you start to notice that. And that force that is running through everything, as you're starting to become less powerful, less in control, you're letting go, you begin to notice this force that runs things. And you begin to see that this force also is feeding you and taking care of you. You're putting food on the table. It looks like you're doing it. You're the one who gets up and goes to work and bringing money or taking care of things. But you start to see like you're not doing it. Your body's doing it, but you're not really doing it yourself. Something else creates circumstances to feed you. You start to see that something else is responsible for taking care of you. You begin to see it. You begin to see that order that if one door closes and you're losing your income in one way and then another door opens up and it starts giving you an income. Somehow in a very magical way, which is beyond the mind's understanding, the mind says cannot understand it because the mind is trying to be logical. So it doesn't get it. Well, how is that going to happen? How is that possible? That one door closes and another door opens without me putting any efforts in it. But it does. It does. One door closes and another one opens up because that which has created you is the same force that is responsible to take care of you. Because you didn't create yourself. You didn't create this world. You have no say here. As much as you would like to, you have nothing to do with any of this. There's nothing you can do about it or change it unless it wants to use you to change something, but you have nothing to say. You're powerless. You're just a character. You're one of the images that appears in this vastness to do your part. It's just, you have this thought in your mind. It's a thought 
that you exist as a separate entity, as a separate person, and you can have an impact or you can do something. But that doesn't exist. It's just a thought. It's just a sense that you can. But you can't. You have no control over any of it. Zero. You have no control over things happen. You academy ends, you get out of your apartment, you're walking across the street. All of a sudden a motorcycle runs into you, car hits you. You're crossing the street, all of a sudden you have a heart attack or you're crossing the street and all of a sudden you meet the love of your life. And your life completely changes because you just met the love of your life. You have no control over any of these things. You don't have any control about what the weather is going to be like. You know, maybe all of a sudden there's thunders and rain comes. You didn't create that. You thought everything is going in this direction and you have figured out everything because in past 70, 80 years, that's what you've been doing. You have figured things out and all of a sudden COVID-19 happens and your life is upside down and you can't leave your home for one year. Your kids don't want to come and see you. Your grandkids don't want to come and see you. And you're isolated like a prisoner for one year. And you had no idea you were going to be a prison. So did I create that? So all of a sudden I start getting dizzy and for a few days or a week, I'm really dizzy. And I go see Dr. Jones and they do an MRI or whatever. And they're gonna come and say, Zarathustra, you have a level four cancer and we're giving you three months to live. There's nothing we can do about it. In three months, you're going to be dead. And it happens. So how much of that did I create? I don't know. I mean, then we can come up with this other concept. Now we're using another concept. Well, Zaratustra, you created this in some level that you're not aware. You created it. Okay, that's a concept, that's a belief system. You can believe in it if you want. If it resonates with you and it tickles your fancy and you think like, wow, then you can believe in that. That too is a concept. because you don't really know. And the same concept can say, well, yeah, I created my parents. I created this life. I chose this in some level, but I don't know of anybody who has a recollection of before they were born that they remember they're in this waiting room with their inner guru or God, and they're giving them a list of the things going to happen in their lives, or, or I'm consciously choosing my dad, my mom, the country I was going to, I'm going to be born in, and consciously, I have no recollection of any of these things. I mean, if one of you does, as clearly as you live this life, yeah, please let me know, enlighten me i like to know. <laughs>